Fake news can have real victims. A popular Northwest DC neighborhood pizza joint is fighting back tonight after it suspects a massive coordinated online attack that is suggesting the restaurant is involved in the worst kind of conspiracy. Yeah, Bruce Lachan says the owner is not sure how to convince people it's all a lie. Bruce. Yeah, Adam and Leslie, this may have been even more deliberate than the fake news that hit the presidential election. The pizza shop owner suspects thousands of online bullies have set out to destroy him, maybe simply because he and a friend supported the Clinton campaign. Boy, I'm trying to bang with some floors. It is a story so clearly absurd. The underground tunnel that helps them take the kids and transport people back and forth so they could do these rituals. It is hard to imagine anyone would believe it. And yet, here were two women who declined to give their names banging on the patio of a popular D.C. restaurant, claiming they were looking for the tunnels where Hillary Clinton and her campaign manager were trafficking in children. They are putting a lot of curses and spells over the city, D.C. I feel like they are kidnapping the children that are missing. They, are, they ne never were missing because D.C. knows where they are. It is all a lie. Comet Ping Pong owner James Alephantis says the restaurant does not even have a basement. This is a really nice, friendly place with wonderful people who make wonderful pizza. Pizza is actually a term used by pedophiles to describe pedophilia or child porn. It is hard to know what the people spinning the tale are thinking, but the conspiracy theory continues to spread with thousands of YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter posts under the hashtag Pizzagate. We're not letting this go, elite, says one, and you cannot kill all of us. Lawyer up, DC pedophiles. Party's over. And these people are destroying their lives. It's insane. Now, Alephantis has contacted the FBI and DC police. He's asked Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit to remove the post. And yet, there are hundreds of new ones today alone. Adam? That is just truly bizarre. Thanks, Bruce. Comet Ping Pong's owner says the Pizzagate conspirators have also harassed and abused his staff. The manager got so many threats and vulgar messages, his wife actually asked him to quit his job. And the online bullies have gone after other businesses on that block as well.